Last month, I ran a survey asking people what they thought was the most aggravating city to live in in the United States. I listed the 100 most popular cities that we have here in this country, and they could pick just one. I also asked people to explain why they were so aggravated living there, and I got a bunch of responses. A few of the cities I totally understood. I mean, people have been complaining about these forever, and a couple of them, I can't believe they made this list. Wow, who saw that one coming? Anyone? I'm alone. Actually, I don't think some of these have made any list ever that I've done. So today we look at the cities people voted as the most aggravating cities to live in and why. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is in the middle of the country and a lot of people said it was boring place to live. They've got a lot of things going on there in my experience. It's been okay. I mean, it's not the most exciting city, but it's okay. A lot of these people think it seems to be pretty bad. Now, one person said the taxes are not bad at all in Oklahoma. They rank 41st in the nation as far as tax burden goes. I look that up, he is correct. So if you don't like paying taxes, Oklahoma is a pretty good option. But the same person went on to say that this has led to a lot of infrastructure and school shortcomings. I mean, technically, that's what taxes are supposed to go to. I'm sure at least some portion in every single state, every single city, their tax dollars go to fixing things around the city. Well, if you're not charging any taxes, that's great. The citizens like it, but they also don't like it when their bridges fall down. Another person brought up infrastructure and said, you could tell the difference between the highways in Oklahoma and as soon as you cross into the next state there is a definite upgrade to the highways. Now, that seems to be a problem throughout Oklahoma, not just Oklahoma City. The biggest complaint there is infrastructure, the schools, and it's boring. 125 people picked Oklahoma City as the most aggravating city to live in. Number nine, Hoboken, New Jersey. Who saw this one coming? I personally don't know much about Hoboken, New Jersey. I do know it's right across from New York City. Like if you jumped in the water near Greenwich Village, you could swim right across the Hudson River and you're in Hoboken. This one had a strange amount of people leaving reasons why they can't stand this place or they're aggravated by it. Here's some of the things they said. Too expensive, lack of parking spaces. A lot of people brought up the fact they've had some flooding there. Apparently they have a problem with flooding here. One person said during the peak of hurricane season, Season, in the fall, flooding happens. It usually consists of rainwater and it happens every single year. I thought that was interesting because I've never heard that before. So I looked it up and I did find some articles about they do get some flooding there. I think every city does, but this has become a problem for the people that live there, I guess. There was an awful lot of complaints too about how there's too many bars and nightclubs and things like that. And the younger people cause a bunch of trouble. You know, I think that's just a bunch of elder people that want, you know, everyone off their lawn or something. But really the too expensive and lack of parking spaces were the biggest things that aggravate the people of this fine New Jersey town. 137 people said Hoboken, New Jersey is the most aggravating city to live in. Number eight, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is an illusion. You see the pictures and you think it's just a great place like some Southern California beach or Miami, Sarasota, one of these really nice beaches, and it is. But if you go inland about a half a mile, it's Redneck City and people that paint their house inappropriate shades of orange. Actually, I don't wanna lie, I kinda like that color scheme they got going on here. Who am I really to talk? Every car I own looks like a Cleveland Browns helmet. The biggest complaint everyone had with Myrtle Beach is jobs and tourists. It's a tourist town, they're gonna get it. And if you've ever lived in a tourist town, I sort of did, you start to learn that it's a double-edged sword. You need the tourists to kind of help the local economy, but they also get in the way and they're annoying and you learn to hate them. In Myrtle Beach, 42% of the population works directly or indirectly with the tourism or hospitality industry. So I get why that can aggravate people. I was talking to an elderly Hawaiian man one time and he said he hated tourists growing up, but then he realized without the tourists, he'd probably be fishing for his food every night. A lot of other complaints were that the jobs are all seasonal because the tourists, you know, it's just seasonal work. I'm not saying that's all they have, but that's a lot of their jobs are seasonal. 141 people voted Myrtle Beach as the most aggravating city to live in. Number seven, Miami Beach, Florida. Miami Beach has a lot of the same complaints that Myrtle Beach has, but they complain about it a lot more. At least in Miami, you have other things to do. It's not just all hospitality and tourism stuff, and not all the jobs are seasonal. Florida stays pretty warm, so their tourism season lasts pretty long, pretty much through the whole year. Right now, it's the end of November. I'll probably upload this the beginning of December, and they've got nothing but cruise ships flooding in and out of Miami as we speak. That is one of the biggest complaints people 
people have about Miami and the Miami metro area. It's the tourists. They also have a lot of complaints about the traffic in Miami and the cost of living. A lot of other people brought up things like the heat, humidity, and hurricane season, along with roaches. Yeah, bugs can be pretty aggravating, especially if you know, you're like one of those people that gets a little squeamish. Too many roaches will send you out of a state. There was also complaints about lack of seasons. They only have basically one season and hurricane season doesn't count. That's obviously going to be from people that are transplants. Maybe they did live in New York. Maybe they lived in the Midwest and they moved to Miami to get away from the bad weather. And then they realize having the same weather almost every single day can suck too. 148 people voted Miami as the most aggravating city. Number six, San Francisco, California. Is anyone else surprised? I guess we all thought San Francisco would be the top of this list. Judging by the traffic that I've had to drive through and seen in San Francisco, I thought they would have been number one. The San Francisco traffic is horrible. And in my opinion, number two is the Los Angeles metro area. Cost of living is the, the biggest complaint people had about San Francisco wasn't the homeless. It was the cost of living. They say the cost of living is ridiculous. And for what you're getting, it makes it even more ridiculous. One guy said, he's an attorney and he can't afford a decent apartment without roommates. 152 people voted San Francisco as the most aggravating city to live in. Number five, Jacksonville, Florida. There was a plethora of complaints about Jacksonville. The crime was number one. Everyone complained about the crime is just crazy there. It's horrible. One person said the crime is stupid and so are most of the people. I thought that was kind of entertaining. Another big one they had is lack of public transportation. Jacksonville, Florida has a public bus system. It doesn't have many other forms of public transportation after that. One guy said Jacksonville does have a bus system, but that doesn't mean it has a bus system all the time. Most of the time, the buses are broken down. And part of that problem leads to the next problem people complain about, the traffic. The traffic in Jacksonville is aggravating. I guess they have a massive bug problem, or not just bug problem, they have a pest problem. One guy listed their biggest problems when it comes to pests. Bed bugs, rodents, mice and rats, they said, termites, mosquito, and tons of cockroaches. Oddly, there was only one complaint about tourists. 158 people voted Jacksonville as the most aggravating city to live in. Number four, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston had a good amount of votes, but they really just had two complaints, traffic and tourists. It's Boston. You got to expect to have some tourists there. It's a historic city. They've got amazing colleges, plenty of things to see, plenty of things to do. You're going to get tourists. If you get aggravated by tourists in Boston, I would suggest leaving Boston because that's never going to change. Move to Rutland, Massachusetts. I hear they don't have any tourists there. Like Jacksonville, 158 people voted Boston as the most aggravating city to live in. Number three, New York City. New York City, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you knew it was going to be on this list without even really thinking about it much. There's two types of people in New York City. They love it to death or they can't stand the place. It's like there's no middle ground with the passion people have for this city. Overcrowded, traffic, cost of living, that's the major theme for New York City. Oddly enough, not one person brought up crime. They do have a fair amount of crime. It's a big city, it's going to happen, but hardly anyone complained about the crime there. I think they've just gotten to the point where they accept it. One person did say they hated how rude everyone was when they first moved to New York City, but then they got used to it and realized that that's just how the people are, so they got over that, but it was really aggravating in the beginning. 167 people voted New York City as the most aggravating city to live in. Number two, Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah, out of nowhere. I would never have expected this one. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Now, this isn't the most scientific study. It's just going off of what a few thousand people voted for. But for Providence, Rhode Island, little sleepy state to get this one on this list, I found it quite amusing. I will tell you one thing about Providence, Rhode Island. I've met maybe five people from there. And when I've gone there, I've just talked to a few people. Uh, they're all rude. Yeah, kind of like New Jersey, kind of like New York. They're rude. But I'm from the West Coast. I'm sure they don't think they're being rude, at least not all of them. But it just comes off as rude, much like the way people from California come off as lazy and aloof. Yes, I don't normally use the word aloof. I hope I'm using it right. But Providence, Rhode Island had a bunch of complaints by the locals. Traffic aggravates them. High population density seems to be a big problem. And bad drivers. That one came up quite a lot. Bad drivers. Freezing winters apparently aggravate these people. And one person brought up all the young people seem to be leaving. Uh, I saw a little evidence of that, but nothing major. When you compare it to other cities. 
186 people voted Providence, Rhode Island as the most aggravating city to live in. All right, before we get to number one, if you're thinking about moving to another city or another state, there's a link for a website called Home and Money in the description area below. They can get you in touch with a real estate agent anywhere in the country. All right, on to number one. And number one, Hollywood and West Hollywood, California. This one blew me away more than Providence, Rhode Island. West Hollywood is a nightmare, and I've known it as a nightmare since I was a kid. You know, I grew up not too far from there, and I was probably, I don't know, 10, 11, my mom or some family member, we went up there for some reason. They used to have a lot of really cool movie theaters up there, so that's probably why we were there. I just remember looking around going, this place is horrible. What's wrong with these people? And that was back in the mid-70s. I've never been a fan of West Hollywood, so I could totally understand this one. And these days, it's just gotten worse. Population density is insane. The traffic is horrible. The roads are horrible. The homeless situation is horrible. And that's just what one guy complained about. Traffic and all the weirdos seems to be the biggest problem. That's what a lot of people call them, all the weirdos. And yes, I'm here to confirm as a, you know, past Southern California resident, there are a lot of freaking weirdos in West Hollywood and Hollywood. I was there one time and I saw Batman get in a fight with the Statue of Liberty. thought that was kind of weird. In case you don't know, there's certain areas in front of different theaters that these people dress up like, I don't know, characters from movies, and you can take your picture with them in West Hollywood. There's no union for this, and there's no organization doing it. These are just individuals that bought some kind of outfit, and they go there and take pictures with people for tips. Well, the guy dressed like Batman got into a bit of a tussle with some huge lady dressed like the Statue of Liberty. And it was, they were throwing bunches. I think it was a turning point in my life when I saw the Statue of Liberty tell someone they were going to kill them. And they threw the F word in there too. The worst part about it, everyone was cheering. And I kid you not, Freddy Krueger broke up the fight. 189 people voted West Hollywood as the most aggravating city to live in. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.